Hello everyone, this is me, Sadia here, and I'm back with the um, first week of May read, start from the 1st through the 7th of May 2022. This reading is going to be for the sign of uh, Capricorn, so let's see what is coming up for Capricorns for the first week time. I will be adding oracle cards and messages from your person in this read, so stay tuned. And uh, before I dive into the read, let me remind you, it is a general read, it may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. So always pick the signs and messages that resonate and leave the rest. For personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my mail ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that I offer as well in the description box. So let's see what is coming up for Capricorn for the first week time of May. Let's begin. Ten of Wands, um, you are definitely ready to leave the burden behind of anything, any sort. Uh, at work, um, love, if, if your connection had become burdensome, you might choose to put an end to that. You might choose to walk away from it. Uh, but I do see that, you know, whatever it is that you're leaving behind, you're still taking the baggage with you. Uh, now, if it is like, you know, um, I feel like, you know, you need to put the baggage down. You need to put the burden down. Like, you know, whatever it is that you want to put an end to, you got to do that. You got to take that decision of letting things go, of letting things be. Uh, what you're doing is, uh, for some of you, I feel like, you know, maybe your love life, uh, when it comes to your love life, maybe what you, uh, with the mistake that you're doing is, um, maybe you feel like you want to put an end to the situation. Maybe you are, you know, done with a specific someone, but then still, you are still carrying the burden, the baggage of that particular particular connection with you. Like, for instance, you might have made certain beliefs uh, around love life because of that, you know, connection that ended that didn't work well for you. Uh, with that particular experience, maybe you're still taking the baggage of uh, that experience with you right now, which is the reason why you don't um, feel good about anything that comes your way. So if you really want things to move forward, you got to put the baggage down. You got to put the uh, past behind and uh, uh, move forward without taking any baggage from your past experiences with you. Because I feel like, you know, for some of you, that could be the reason why you are not attracting the right kind of people in your life because maybe you still have the baggage from your past with you that you need to let go of. Let's see more cards here. Eight of Wands. Wow. Um, Eight of Pentacles. Wow, the magician. I do still uh, see you uh, working, working towards a past connection. I do see that you are still hopeful about it. And that's the reason why you're not letting go of the baggage that you have. Um, it, it can be a person that you really love. It can be a person that you really want to work things with. Um, but I feel like you know, it's, uh, it's definitely kind of... Um, uh, if, if, if you don't see this connection as burden or if you don't see what you have been putting into this connection as burden, go ahead, do whatever you want to do. But if it does affect you or impact you emotionally in any negative way, Maybe you got to hold on. Maybe you need to kind of, you know, um, maybe in that situation, if, if it does bother you, then maybe you need to uh, work towards getting rid of it. But if investing yourself 100% into it without demanding anything in return, uh, if that's what you are doing, I feel like, you know, you can still manage to get what you want. But if you have expectations and you don't get things, uh, you know, how you expect, then I do see that there will be struggle that you would be having uh, in regards to this connection that you have with your person. So it's, it's going to be different um, for different people. But I feel like, you know, um, I don't see you giving up on it. I don't see you giving up on this connection, this person, this relationship. You still want to work towards it and you believe that maybe you can make it happen. Um, I feel like, you know, if you really want this connection to work, um, you got to feel it not as a burden. Right now, you are upset with the situation and then you're trying to manifest it. The more you try manifesting it, the more you feel lack of it. So for a majority of you, maybe even if you are using affirmations, doing all the things that you are trying to do with the manifesting this connection, manifesting this person, or making their heart melt for you, you are doing it with the baggage. Uh, you are doing it with a, with, with a heavy heart. And until and unless you, you get lightened about the whole situation, you will not be able to manifest what you want to manifest with this person. So I feel like, you know, this week... Um, uh, it's going to be like any other week. Like, you know, you would have those moments with the, where you would want to give up on a connection, but then you would want to give in, give into the connection as well. So it's going to be more of that situation. But at the same time, if you really want to get a different result, 
you got to stop dealing with it uh you know with that attitude where you're like you know looking at it with a heavy heart and now feeling bad for not giving, getting what you want with this person so that's something that you really need to change here about yourself about the way you look at things right now if you feel burdenized being with the being with this person and being in a relationship with them for for them not uh, you know valuing you or something like that i feel like you know it's very important for you to kind of uh, stop um uh, you know, investing too much into this connection and start giving your time and your, you know, your love to yourself instead. Because in that situation too, it's not about you giving up. It's more like, you know, you detaching yourself so the other person could value you. Right now, maybe they're taking you for granted. They're taking your effort for granted. If you want them to value, you got to value yourself as well. So that's what is missing here right now. And you got to work towards it. Um, I feel like you know you you might have been having sleepless nights as well you got to stop doing that you got to kind of you know um, maybe it's time for you to take a break for yourself uh, a time out from love relationships and stuff like that try to give in invest yourself into yourself rather than like you know giving into this connection for now I feel like uh, let me take some cards to see what is your person's energy towards you right now what are their energies towards you You believe that they they are very harsh towards you that's what you believe um, you really demand justice from this person and I feel like you know uh, you want them to add stability to your life but uh, you really admire this person a lot you feel like you know you would never find one like them because you you admire them so much you admire their beauty you, you admire the way they are uh, but then you don't see things working out. Um, when it comes to this person, um, you know, it's, it's more like, you know, all in your head. I feel like, you know, um, because they are not giving you to the connection the way you desire, you stop feeling like, you know, bad for the whole thing. You feel like maybe they have, uh, you know, other options or they have other things on their mind. Uh, when it comes to love and relationship, it's not the case. It's just that you are prioritizing them so much that they are, they are the thing for you in your head. But in actuality, their life is not as happening as you see it to be. Um, they, they will start missing you, start needing you if you could detach yourself uh, for some time. Because I feel like, you know, there is not um, much happening in their life. They value what you give to them. They um, enjoy getting your love and appreciation. But at the same time, they want um, things to be <clears throat> slow paced. Um, no matter if you have been with this person for quite some time already as well. But still, this person needs their own time to, to deal with the situation better. But I feel like, you know, it's um, it's your perspective that needs to change about this person. Because I feel like, you know, you're putting them on the pedestal for yourself, but then they don't give you what uh, you deserve. So it's very important for you to, you know, especially if, you know, there are two things. If it does not affect you in a negative way, you giving so much into a connection, then go ahead. But I do see you getting affected with it as well. So if, if um, I don't see you giving up, I don't see you, uh, you know, happy as well. You know, um, you love them, you want this to work, but at the same time, you are very, uh, you know, right now you're feeling very bad around the situation. So that is something that needs to be changed. Let's see what is uh, your person's uh, message for you. What do they wish to say? Um, I love the way you love me. It feels so right. This person really enjoys getting the love that you offer to them. Um, if and when I am ready to commit, you are you will always be my first choice. So like I told you, it's not about you right now. It's about them. They are not ready for anything right now. It's uh, it's not that they are happening. Uh, they are having a happening life, uh, love life right now. Maybe they have other options or stuff like that. That's not the case. Just that they are not ready for it. Um, so just uh, try to be patient with them. Confidence is your key to success. You have to start believing in yourself more than anything else. For some of you, you could be dealing with the uh, with the fire sign as well, specifically Leo. Uh, let's see. Okay, we have one card here. The end of a tough cycle approaches. For some of you, you could be dealing with another Capricorn as well. Um, I feel like, you know, if you really want this situation to change, evolve, you got to stop giving so much into this connection, especially if it does affect you in a negative way, being on the giving side. And if it does emotionally drain you, it's very important for you to take a step back. Um, so, yeah, let's see the last card for this read. Let's see what it has to add. <clears throat> 
fairy spotting it's time to go fairy spotting it says said that seeing is believing but in fact the opposite is true believing is seeing now if you stop believing uh, the things that you don't desire to be the reality it will be so if you start believing the things that you want to be true it will be so so believing is seeing like you know whatever you believe in you always see and experience that in your life so start believing differently start believing that this person really values you start believing that this person really wants to be with you instead of thinking otherwise and i feel like you know, the universe really wants you to change the way you look at things and let the things change for you so uh yeah that's pretty much it coming up for you for this uh, week time if it was of help, do like, share, and subscribe. And now, uh, yeah, till I do the next week for you guys. Take care and bye-bye. Uh,